Hello traders, welcome to Invest2.com's How to Series and this module on Trending Indicators. Today we're going to learn how to use moving averages. And moving averages are calculated by adding the closing price of the security for a number of time periods and then dividing this total by the number of time periods. This means that a uh, 21 period moving average is calculated from the last 21 uh, closing prices and this gives us a line in the chart that smoothens price action In this euro US dollar one hour chart we have the 21 period simple moving average now uh, If we change uh, the 21 period to a 5 period We are going to have a moving average that reacts a lot faster to price changes and you can see that this moving average is closer to price because it reacts uh, much much quicker to price changes because it only uses the last uh, the last five closing prices to calculate its average every time so if we go back to the 21 uh, simple moving average we are going to have a smoother uh, representation of the average closing price uh, of the security now uh, the first thing you have to notice or you have to know is uh, what period are you going to use and uh, the well the three main or the three most important periods to use on a simple moving average are the 21 period simple moving average and uh, we are going to use the uh, 200 period simple moving average uh, let me just um, create this moving average for you and we're going to color it red and we are going to use the 100 period simple moving the 50 period simple moving average okay now uh, let's color this one um, blue or violet now uh, as you can see we have the 200 period simple moving average which is almost flat and this is because we are in a uh, a one hour um, and a one hour euro US dollar chart but the 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 way we're going to be using the 200 period simple moving average it's to spot the overall trend in the market if price is trading above the 200 period simple moving average uh, we are in an overall up move and if we are trading below the 200 simple moving average we are in an overall uh, down move and as you can see price um, will test the simple moving average or the 200 simple moving average as support or as resistance once it comes close to it so if we are using the 200 period simple moving average as a an overall price uh, indicator uh, we are going to wait for price to come down if price obviously is trading above the 200 period simple moving average uh, to come down and test it as support for our long entry we have an example here and we have another example here and of course uh, uh, we have another example here when price breaks with the 200 period simple moving average we have a continuation of the price movement to the upside and of course to the downside and right here you can see that price breaks with the 200 period simple moving average and then retests it back as resistance before continuing to the downside so the 200 period simple moving average uh, is this uh, important because there's a lot of traders that are watching the same uh, indicator and uh, there's a lot of orders around it so a uh, price will react to the 200 period simple moving average the 50 period simple moving average uh, and the 21 period simple moving average are more f like uh, immediate trend spotters and uh, uh the the other way to use simple or, or the other way to use moving average is to use a moving average crossover such as this one let me just get rid of these um uh, rectangles right here so we don't clutter our chart and uh, you can see that we have two crossovers okay now the first crossover comes right here when price is about to go on this up move and uh, the second crossover comes right here when price is about to go uh, on this down move and uh, this is called a bullish crossover because the fastest moving average crosses above the uh, slowest moving average the fastest moving average is of course the 21 SMA and the slowest moving average is of course the 50 SMA when this happens we have uh, a, a signal to go long 
and when this happens we have a signal to go short now the exit uh, the exit rules on these trades are of course uh, can be very different and it all depends on the system you are using and if you want to learn how to how to uh, create your si own system you should go to invest2.com and go through our trading courses but uh, uh, for this example uh, you can see that this position would have yielded around 224 pips and this position would have yielded even more around 400 pips so this is the way to use moving averages and um, of course you can use it for signals and to uh, trend spot in the long term with a 200 period simple moving average and in the short term with uh, uh, fastest moving average or faster moving averages and if you want to learn more about uh, how to develop your own trading system and uh, how to use moving average inside of a system or simply how to trade using simple moving averages uh, go to invest2.com and more specifically uh, invest2.com slash advanced technical analysis